and uh, this is gonna be the beginning of my new series for How to Mod Xenos. And uh, I'm a noise modder myself. I just recently started modding, but on my in my journey, I realized um, whatever the knowledge I acquired could help others too, and they could make some crazy, uh, interesting mods. Like right now, I'm working on Tapion. I managed to give them the ears, and one of the guys made the hair, and I'm slowly working towards Tapion, but um, I'm still learning, so I can't do much yet. But let me teach you what I learned. So um, today I'm gonna teach you guys um, how to um, apply a mod and how are we able to mod Xeno. Um, I'm using the steam motion, so um, it shouldn't be a problem if you have the steam motion. So um, I managed to uh, put everything, like most of the basic software we need. All of them are freeware, so you don't have to worry. Um, I put them in my link, so I'll, I'll put that in the description, so it'll be easy for you guys to download that. Um, and yeah, the folder is here. So um, let's show you guys um, how we are capable of modding Xenos. So um, first, we need to get to the Xenos directory. It's in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, DB Xenos. Here we are. So, look at this one. Data CPK. It's really huge, right? It's 3 gigabytes. And the next one, it's not that much. Like, these are really small compared to this one. So, this means this is the main game folder. It has all the original data files. Like, when you first download the game, this is what you get. And this is the day one patch. And all the patches afterwards. So, uh, when they say they are like downloading a patch, this is the file that they change usually. So um, this is like data um, data p1 cpk. That is um, the first DLC, and this is the second DLC. So how is modding possible in Xenos? Simple. We actually change the stuff inside this data to cpk file but the thing is you can just drag a mod into this one it doesn't work like that so first you need to extract the cpk folder and that's where the software animation come in handy all right let's go into modding software so there's a way to mod with libzino as master but i um i learned um like i mean I still use libcinos but um, for extraction and repacking purposes I use these folders like uh, crypack tools master and repacker cpk those are opti optimized for like um, extracting purposes so it's easy for you to use them so um I'm gonna drag one of these like um let's take this one data to cpk copy and put it here all right pipac tools master remember that so as you can see there's this link extract only no decompression so just double click that and yeah it's gonna start extracting make sure just because there's a folder, uh, it hasn't finished. So when the setup is finished, this um, CMDEX will just close. So you'll see. And yeah, they're closed. So yes, data. And yes, data too. They don't have much in here, but it's really important. You know, like make sure you get them, like both of them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna name it data to root. Just something I learned while I'm doing that. And people name them differently, but it doesn't necessarily matter. But um, since I started using that, I'm gonna stick to that. 
and you select both data and data2 and just drag it into data2 root and here we are so what is this data2 root the whole thing will become data2 cpk and once you're done with that you don't need it anymore you could just move it in somewhere or like make a backup um, I usually make a backup like I always make a backup so um, I have a backup so I'm gonna delete that so um, this is a folder we are applying mods most of the time and this is the folder we get like we put our edited stuff like our own mods too so um, I'll, I'll show you guys my um, extracted folder somewhere else so yeah, money tools, graphic tools master that is, I mean you don't have to put them in graphic tools master but um, it's for the convenience most of people uh, most of the people do that when they're modding so um, I have data1 root here which is um, data cpk and obviously data2 cpk and data p1 cpk and data p2 so um this folder um a data one root it's just for the reference purposes you could um apply a mod here and um try to repack it but it would take a tremendous amount of time which is why data two comes in handy because everything you put it will override data one <coughs> excuse me so um yeah let's apply a mod I have this Master Roshi space, uh, which is um, something uh, coming in DLC 2. So I changed um, the name uh, it, of it to a Master Roshi's beard, so I'll be able to use it. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put it in uh, Data 2 root. Alright? So we are going in, and here we are. So yeah, the battle is just the AI table and Shara. Um, this is the character folder. We have to deal with this folder a lot of times, so keep that in mind. This is character folder and uh, message folder. This is where we change names, like the display name and stuff like that. And skills, all the skills and the animations there, there and sounds obviously um, system another important folder we have to put um, I mean you could mod your characters uh, like main characters you could give them skills like change the auras of their characters uh, auras of the main characters like you could give purple red aura rather than his regular blue aura so stuff like that so um, right now we copied the mod and um, look at this. So um, BAT is Barter, uh, BDK is Bardock. Um, I have an ID list and I will upload that so it'll be easy for you to understand. But usually it's um, um, the names. I mean, if you pay attention, you'll probably get that. So, um, so what we are gonna do is um, this made, uh, this mod is made for a human male folder. And usually cyan males and human males share the same folder. So the folder is named HUM. So I'm gonna open that. Uh, usually when you first open your data to uh, root, you would have this many things, but um, I have added some more, so I have a lot of things. And as you can see, um, it says I have this thing so um, I already added the mod previously but I'm still gonna repack it uh, like replace it uh, so um, you guys know what I'm gonna do so um, yeah um, then I'm going to mod in tools again repack the cpk and I'm gonna open cpk Crypack tools and data path. Alright, just select 
like um you select wherever the folder you put the data to root in it uh, root in so um here's where i put it so yeah i select this okay and data align you have to change this value it's always 512 keep that in mind you don't change anything rather than data path data align and save path right and yeah make sure you select the game directory i showed you the address already so um select data to cpk which is the fall uh, which is the file you're changing on so um yeah save and save it gives you a warning so make sure you select yes it doesn't matter um so um yeah quick build and it's gonna start doing that and I'm gonna fast forward this so um, you won't have to wait a long, long time. So welcome back. So um, when we are done with the compression, it uh, gives you a prompt saying compression complete. Click that and you close this. And you can go into the game. And yep. Let's see the mod. And I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, we're back. Oops. So Here's my Roshi So while we are waiting, I'll, I'll give you guys some tips. Make sure you always make a backup after update. Oh, when you download the update, because it's usually gonna update and put new files, and it's gonna completely erase your mods from data to CPK. So make sure you always update your um. You always you update your um. um sorry, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, what, I was, what was I saying? Um, uh, make sure you always keep a backup. Like, it really helps. Um, I always keep a backup. And some people don't do that. And they would like ask questions. And they, they would want a vanilla copy. But some sometimes another person's copy wouldn't work with other person. So um, the only solution you'd have left is to reinstall the game and download the whole thing. So... Yeah, always keep a backup. And um, some other things, like um, like if you want a mod, so if you want to apply a mod, but uh, the original files are not in Data One CPK, you know they are not because um, they came with DLCs. So like, imagine um, you want to mod um, Gogeta's Fusion clothes. So. They came in DLC 2, so you have to mod DLC 2. There wouldn't be any point of modding um, data to CPK. You have to mod data P2 CPK, which would be your uh, data DLC 2 root, I guess. Um, so make sure you add the mod in there. Come on! Really? Yep, here we are. Um, I might be slow because um, my capture card is not an awesome one. Uh, 
Oh, it's not bandages, the mummy. I just made sure I got his clothing too. They're already in the game, so I just have to take them. Oh, oh no, not that. Yeah, I probably wouldn't update uh, update um, gameplay videos because of my capturing issues. And here we are. Look at him. And yeah, make sure you put every file into the uh, specified folder. Like if the mod has them in like HUM, you have to put it in the HUM. Sometimes you would find that data to root doesn't have that folder. Then you make one. It doesn't matter. Like because it files in data to root will always override data one cpk so make sure you make a folder and put them in if you can find the folder and um, I will release more tutorials um, as I go um, I already uh, plan on making a skill set modding like uh, change the names of mod characters and change the skill names stuff like that so um, I'll see you guys in the next video um, you guys have a good one